The raid that killed Osama bin Laden on Sunday was months in the making. It was last August when American intelligence officials found a compound where they began to believe that Mr. bin Laden was hiding with a small coterie of his aides. It then took months of American intelligence work, looking at satellite photos, looking at human intelligence reports, to make the final determination about whether bin Laden was actually in the compound and whether it was worth carrying out a very risky raid. By March, President Obama decided to gather his top national security aides to start putting together the initial plan to launch the American raid. Throughout this time, President Obama made the decision not to inform Pakistan's government about the upcoming raid. America's relationship with Pakistan has long been rocky, but it's been especially troubling in the last few months after an American CIA operative, Raymond Davis, shot two Pakistanis on a street corner in Lahore in January. As the buildup to the raid happened, President Obama was worried that if he tipped off Pakistan's government, word could leak out, and ultimately Osama bin Laden might get away. All this led up to Sunday morning in Pakistan when American CIA and military operatives boarded helicopters and raided the compound. American officials said the entire raid lasted only 40 minutes, but an intense firefight broke out. Osama bin Laden was shot in the head after trying to resist the assault force. They loaded his body into a helicopter and took it away from the compound. Earlier this morning, we learned an additional detail, that Mr. bin Laden's body was buried at sea, something that no doubt will be discussed much in the coming days. All of this has ended perhaps what is the longest and most frustrating manhunt in American history.